22. Next up is Bugs Live Any Percent by Destabilize. Take it away, man. Hello, I'm Destabilize. Uh, this is Bugs Life. Um, I'm just going to start a run and explain the game. Um, so, when you guys are ready, in uh, three, two, one, go. So, this is a Bugs Life. It's. Um, Thank you. <laughs> so this is a Bugs Life. It's based on the uh, Pixar movie, A Bugs Life, funny enough. Oops. Uh, so there's, you'll see a lot of that in the game. There's a bit of bug random RNG where they'll just run in front of you. It's all kind of random. Um, so this is uh, the main story of this game is essentially Blick has to um, go find help to stop the grasshoppers taking their grain. And um, once he's done... Hang on, sorry, my button wasn't working. Uh, stop them getting the grain. He needs to go get help by some circus people. Um, so that first level is pretty quick. You just need to make it to the end of the level and jump down the hole. Um, this is a pretty similar level where you just have to make it to the end of the level. Uh, there's three main types of levels, which is just getting to the end, um, boss fights, and then collecting things around the map. Uh, so this is tunnels. Um, the main movement on this game is just jumping and butt slamming, and then you also have a berry power that you can throw. Uh, the collision on this game is kind of strange, <laughs> so you can kind of jump around the walls and clip inside them. You can't go through them, um, but you can kind of skip obstacles that they want you to do. Um, like just there, they want me just to do a berry and then um, jump up, which is kind of slow. Um, but, and then also you'll notice there's things falling from the, the ceiling. Uh, that's pure RNG. Um, that sound is normal, by the way. <laughs> it's a bit strange. The PC version has some weird sound on this level, but um, the rest of the levels are fine. Uh, yeah, so we're just making it through this level. Uh, we There's a tech in this game where you butt slam, um, which makes you go further in the air. Um, it's not intended to work like that. So we can just jump over all these pits that the game thinks you can actually um, not get through, and you have to do a, kill a bunch of enemies and open up a seed and get through it. So that's the tunnel. Oh, yeah. So it's kind of straightforward levels going straight A to B. Um, this is Council Chamber. So this is the first boss fight of the game. Um, to do any damage to the actual boss, you need to get a blueberry. So upgrade your berry power. Um, so we upgrade up there, and we're going to try and hit him as quick as possible. If we're lucky, you get stuck under the mushroom and doesn't fly up. We weren't lucky. So this is, all right, we got him really quickly. Sometimes you can just fly around up there for ages and there's nothing you can do about it. Um, then also with this game, it doesn't really care if you finish a level as long as you just do the objective. So you'll, uh, you'll notice that I just quit out the level as soon as I kill the boss and don't wait for the cutscenes to happen. Um, there are a lot of cutscenes in this game, but you're not going to see any of them because uh, we skip them all. But they're actual movie clips, which is kind of cool. If you haven't seen the movies, it's kind of cool to watch them. Um, so this level, we want to not fall into the pit, because as soon as you touch the ground, we die and get eaten by a bird. Um, but the idea of this level, you kind of want to stay uh, low as possible and then um, get over this vine. Uh, it's kind of tricky sometimes to, to obviously um, not get as much height, otherwise you're losing time. But then the lower you are, the scarier it is, basically. Um, but that's a quite quick level as well. So I'm going to try a trick on this level, um, which is kind of dumb. It doesn't really save much time, if you, but you kind of have to do it perfectly. So you're going to notice me taking a bunch of damage. And ideally, we don't lose time taking damage, because we can get a forward boost. Uh, that was OK, I guess. Uh, and I want to get to one health. Uh, gen uh, hang on, sorry. Let me try and fix it. All right, we're back, we're back. <laughs> Uh, this game is quite old, so <laughs> it, Windows doesn't, the latest Windows doesn't always like running it. Uh, all right, we got the setup back. So I think I need to take one more damage, if I remember. From the, all right, cool, yeah. So what we do, so we're running there, and then we're going to keep butt slamming. And the last the last position the game thinks we're, we're allowed to spawn in is where we just ran. So we need to keep doing butt slams until we get this green token to update our berry. So we got that now. And then we need to intentionally die. And if I've done it right, I should spawn. Oh, nice, it worked. So we just teleported back over here and just got that green berry, uh, which lets us get to other places in the map. And that's bad RNG. Sometimes the bug just wants to hit you, and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, we've upgraded that second flower. Um, and then we can get up here. And if you know, we can sometimes hit them both at the same time, but that's kind of difficult. And then we're meant to have a third green berry here to get up to that wall, but we can do a trick if we get cool the fly also sometimes want just to fly in front of you throw that in the corner and then hit the mushroom and then if we, we can kind of like just jump round and then get up higher than we're meant to 
but that means we're down a actual leaf now, so we can't get up to the last part. So there's a pretty difficult trick, which is frame perfect, um, which is coming up in just a second, where you have to buffer jump and then do a frame perfect jump as you're falling. And it's pretty difficult to get first try, but we'll see. Uh, no. This, can, this usually takes more than one attempt. Uh, uh, hopefully I can get this. <laughs> this is like the biggest run killer of the game. Now let me change the camera. This <laughs> Hang on. It never takes this long in practice, I swear. <laughs> there we go. Finally got it. So that didn't look too impressive, but... Yeah, like 99% of the time you're going to reset oh, yeah. your run to that trick. You kind of need it first try to get uh, any top three time, really. Um, and this is the second boss fight where we have to kill a giant bird. Yeah. Well, not kill a giant bird, scare her away. Um, but if we make our way up to the top here, we're going to jump over some stuff um, and get a blueberry again. Uh, we can just cut that bit out. It's a bit quicker. Um, grab the blueberry. The bird was nice to us, so sometimes a bird can just be in the way when you jump across and just instant kill you. Or knock, or will knock you down, which makes you stop in the beginning. And then he's gonna exit the level. And this is city entrance. So we, on this level, we need to collect grain. Um, the weird, the game wants you to kill the spider, but if you butt slam quite far away, you can just go grab the grain like that. Um, there's also a move in this game that most people don't know exists, is you can kick in the game, which the game is the most useless move in the world, but it's, it's good for that one enemy that lets you kill him pretty quickly. And then we're just going to upgrade our berry power now. So there's certain enemies you can't kill with the red berry or your jump power. Um, so we've got both those flies here. Grab this guy. And then there's two enemies here. So uh, these despawn, by the way. So if you're not quick, you can't grab them and they're pretty hard to grab. Like, you can't just run through them a lot of the time. Um, the collision's broken as well. That's how I just jumped up that box. So we need a few more grain here. Uh, that was really bad RNG. Um, you're hoping the spider to be here so I don't have to run off to the right. And then hopefully this guy isn't messed up now. That's fine. Jump over the poison ink and then make our way up here. So a few last grain here. Slow killing that fly so we just skip him. Jump down here, grab that grain. So two more grain, one off to the right here, and then the final spider. Oh, yeah. Cool. Uh, so we, there's a 30 grain door, but we do a trick to jump over it. Hopefully I get it first try, so we can just, just kind of run straight to the end of the level now. Um, just go way through here. Through here. Um, so what we do, we jump up on these boxes, and then we jump at the right time on these corpses. Sometimes the game eats your inputs. <laughs> Let's try that again. Um, so, wow, I, city. I need more grain. Uh, try lucky. I need more grain. Not working. <laughs> There we go, finally got it. So you can click through that door at the very top of it. Um, and then we find the bugs again, even though we just... And then the next level is kind of strange. Um, on a lot of the versions, you can skip these cutscenes, but on this version, you kind of just have to sit here and wait and watch and talk. So we take a slightly different route. Um, I'll let you know when that happens. But on the PlayStation version, you can just press start to skip the dialogue. Then the N64 version, you can like buffer um, the inputs, and then it kind of doesn't play the cutscenes until you stop butt stat slamming. But this version, you kind of just have to listen to them. Um, but it pretty much makes this version the hardest level. Well, not that, uh, maybe the N64 is harder, but you have to do a really hard jump on this version. Um, so we're going to speak to the these beetles here. So most versions, we'd run off to the left and um, talk to another one and jump down and speak to Rosie. But on the PC version, we jumped down straight away and speak to Rosie because um, she has a really quick dialogue. So um, we can get through that quickly. And then on the last one, we can quit out because it's really long. But the game thinks we spoke to everyone, so we can just quit out. So I hope I get this quickly. <laughs> um, so we make our way around here. Uh, over here. So we need a really precise jump here. You need to jump to that very corner, it's really precise. 
Um, let's try it one more time. It's all right. I can fill it up with, an, uh, with a donation. Yeah, yeah, go for it. All right, we have 26 euros from Green Snow Dog saying, Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> all right, we got that second try, which is pretty good, to be honest. Uh, we still saved time, funny enough, than the old route on PC. So this is another boss fight. What we use is the collision of the can to get this golden berry early. Uh, can... Nice, got it. Um, that's kind of it's really hard to get if you miss it the first try because the setup's kind of all messed up. But that saves us having to run across to the other end of the can and then um, grab the blueberry. Uh, we... So we just want to we can't actually hit the fly when he's um, moving. We have to wait for him to get to his spots. Uh, I need to be a bit careful because of health. Um, just gonna wait here to. We don't really lose time if we wait anyway, because like I said, we have to wait for the fly to get to the other side of the can. Um, and final hit here. And once again, we can just quit out as soon as we hit him. And then progress on. So this is close. This is probably the funnest level of the game, I'd say. Uh, this is where you have to go collect. Uh... All right, nice, I got that. That's quite a new strat found recently. So I'm walking there on purpose. Um, so we can spawn back there. There's a thing where you can skip this cutscene if, if I'm careful. Uh, that didn't work. Essentially, if you're in the air when you talk to uh, Manny, it, you don't have to watch this. You can kind of run around and do what you want while they're talking. Um, but it's kind of hard to get. So we just have to watch the cutscene. It doesn't lose too much time. Uh, but they just need to do a trick and get the feather out the Chinese box and then... We can carry on. Transformation, transformation. By the way, important detail on that last donation. It means the lit Benta light uh, incentive work. for the any percent with skips run just got met. So we will be seeing that. <laughs> uh, on, so. so the collision is broken in this game, like I said. So we can just kind of jump up the sides of these ramps here. Um, and get to places earlier. You're meant to do a bunch of upgrades with your flower ability, but we can kind of just use these to jump up. <laughs> um, so this is the bird we're creating to scare the grasshoppers away. Um, so what we need to do now is grab the last flower, which is in the air. So usually we'd head back to the cutscene now, but because we've already got that, uh, that's RNG again. Uh, let's just try and get rid of that spider. There we go. And we're just going to grab this upgrade ability to this get a shooter. So now if we get rid of this Danny Lion, we can then put ourselves in this launcher and get up on top of this tree to get the this second to last uh, feather. And then this is just towards the end of the level now. Um, you're meant to also speak to these bugs across here, and they do like a little show and get the, uh, the, the um, feather down. But instead, we can use that just to get in the air, grab it, and then quit the game. And that counts as a completion. Um, and now this is the tree. So there's a bunch of uh, cutscenes in this level. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward yeah. level, except for if you fall off just the tree, you're losing a lot of lot of time, and that's just going to reset the run straight away. Um, but we're going to use some wonky collision here just to jump up quickly. Uh, cool, we got up, and then hopefully we don't fall off the tree. So there's a five cutscenes of these where we just have to wait and watch Dim come down and pick up the scout and then fly off again. Unfortunately, there's no way to skip this. So yeah, if there's anything to say or anything like that, go ahead. Sure thing. Let's start off by saying who we are. We are the Benelux Speedrunner Gathering, AKA BSD. We organize bi-monthly gatherings in the Benelux for speedrunners. And we're currently streaming our annual event live from Hotel Asteria in Venray, the Netherlands. And we are, of course, raising money for MIND, which is a nationwide organization committed to prevent mental health issues and to support everyone who is dealing with mental health issues themselves or within their families. All of your donations will go to MIND. Cool. So we're nearly... And the, funny enough, that cut, you can't move during these cutscenes, but there's been an occurrence where Dim knocks you off the tree and there's nothing you can do about it. Um, no idea why it happens, but it's a very small chance it can happen. Uh, we can skip that web there just by jumping around the tree. Um, and we've got one more scout here. The scary thing about this level is you see that bug in the background. Because of the way the game kind of works and the camera's kind of junk, you can't quite see the bug. So you, you kind of just have to hope he's... Okay, that would have killed me <laughs> if I didn't react there. But essentially, he just knocks you off the tree and gets in your way. 
Uh, that. Oh, Hang on one sec. That Careful, web was kind of off to the right there. Thanks, there Rosie. we go. Round and and round then jump over these last vines. So one more scout up here. I won't do the massive jump that can kill your run straight away. And that's the last um, scout fly. Then we just need to talk to the last scout on the bird and we can quit the level out. And that's us just building the bird to scare the grasshoppers away. Um, the story makes a lot more sense if you watch the cutscenes or have seen the movie. Uh, there we go. And that's the tree over and done with. Uh, next is a boss fight. Um, you can go kind of scare on the boss fight. I'm going to try. Where you're meant to go underneath a flower uh, leaf uh, to stop these red berries from getting you. So they downgrade your berry uh, power from the blue one. Um, they're meant to be helping you, but I don't know why they fly, fly red berries at you, but throw red berries at you. So we can grab the blueberry like that and then get rid of this mushroom. Grab the blueberry and then start hitting. Now we can do damage to the boss. So you'll see these red berries fly everywhere. And you, I really shouldn't be doing this, but uh, you can kind of just kind of go YOLO and just as long as you keep slowly moving, they throw it to your last position. So he's underneath the flower now anyway, so he might as well just uh, stay here. The, the reason we don't do it from range is because he gets knocked back slightly, um, which is makes him further and further away from you, which takes the berry to get longer to him. So I'm timing the punch is there so it doesn't happen, and then we just quit the level. So luckily we didn't get hit by a red berry, which is good. And then Ant Hill Part 2, this is uh, the biggest RNG in the game, essentially. We do a trick to hit the boss early, um, but there's not really much we can do to get that to work until we're all well, the first two hits are um, RNG. The last few are we can pretty much time or aim, and um, which you'll see in a second. We just don't. We just skip a lot of upgrading and stuff, which makes the level a lot quicker. Um, so we'll grab this leap ability now, which lets us grab another ability up here. Um, and then we're going to jump up on here. I need to grow a berry shooter. And then get the berry shooter. This is, a, we need to upgrade this a lot more. And like, if you're, uh, where am I? There we go. Uh, but instead, we can hold on to this berry and it, and it still shoots, as you can see. So it's not meant to be up this high. Um, and we need to hit that boss up there. So if we go to the very edge of here, turn around, look up, and then pray that it hits him. <laughs> um, uh, we're not having good one, so that's one hit. We need one more hit. Hopefully we can get it. Two, cool. So we need nine hits in total, so that's three, four, so that's five. We need to tie in this. Six, seven, eight, and then nine, which we can then throw, talk to Ada, and then quit the level really quickly. Uh, and that's that level. So this is Riverbed Flight. This is the second to last level. Um, this is kind of an auto-scroller, but not. Um, he's moving forward on his own, but essentially we need to dodge a bunch of obstacles, jump over flies, and collecting these grains to give you a speed boost. Um, the thing about this level, any sort of obstacle on the floor is going to knock you backwards, and the hopper is going to go in front of you, uh, who's chasing us. And then that just pretty much instant death, really, unless you fly all the way up, which is really slow. So we, you might not notice, but I'm doing small little jumps just to avoid rocks on the floor. Um, that's a damage boost there you can do. It's kind of just you get it or you don't. Um, so ideally we collect most of the grain this level, it's more speed boost. So you, I hope you don't see it, but if you know if you, if I if it happens, you'll see how bad it is if I don't do certain jumps and certain movements. Uh, that wasn't too bad. Uh, so make a way over here. Yeah, there you go. That's kind of what happens, but. Luckily, we didn't get all the way back. We're invincible now, luckily. <laughs> but yeah, we make our way up here. Skip all through here. And then get to the end of the level. So that went pretty well. Oh, yeah. All right, so Rick Canyon Showdown. This is the final boss fight. So this, this is broken up into three sections. The first thing we need to do is get our blue uh, upgrade berry, which is the blueberry. But we do an unintended jump there. Let me try that again. Um, yeah, this game's a very slippery movement, so nice, okay. So that was a completely unintended. Uh, it's harder than it looks, but <laughs> luckily we got that fairly quickly. So now we've got our blueberry, we can then go over to the first section of the boss fight, um, where we hit him a bunch of times. So we don't do much damage to him, we just need to wait for a sliver of health to go away. Um, and as soon as we've done that, he then moves over to the second section. So this is the hardest section of the uh, level. Um, 
So when you stop running in this game, you kind of run forward. Um, so it's really easy to fall off and platforming, and there's really small platforms here. And these white berries he throws at you will make you go flying. Um, so we want to set up something here and just free throw these so we get them earlier. So we kind of want to not stop moving at certain points so we can't get hit by the white berry. Um, and then we want to hit him. So I'm just going to jump here so I don't get hit by that. Uh, but we didn't need to do the backup. But... So it's kind of hard to lose time if you're kind of fast and don't fall. Um, that's the last hit there. And this is the final section of the boss fight. So we're just going to make way over these wood bits here and climb all the way up. So as long as we're just slightly quicker than um, Hopper on this bit, we don't lose much time. Um, so we need to make our way up here. And then we just need to wait now for him to get to this point and then hit him once so he flies to the next point. So that's fine. And then the next point up here. So time's coming up kind of shortly. Um, I'll let you know when. But he's, this is the last time we need to hit him like this. So when we're up the top here, we're gonna, I'm going to keep spamming the berry so he doesn't fly around us in circles. Um, if we hit him really quickly, that should work. Uh, I think we should be good. So the time starts when it fades to black. Um, time. And that's it. So <laughs> that's a bug's life. Um, it's a really good speed run to get into, to be honest. It's quite short. It's not too hard to learn. There's not that many glitches. It's more just movement optimization. Um, yeah, so that's bug's life. If you want to check it out, check the Discord out. Anyone's really willing to help learn the game. It's um, Yeah, it's a pretty great game. Oh yeah. That's it. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Destabilize, for that great Bucks Life run. Up next is Lit Ventilite, any percent by Tricro. And once again, a reminder that we did meet the incentive, so we will also see the any percent run with skips. So definitely stay tuned for that. We'll be heading into a quick intermission. We'll be right back. <laughs> 